assignment time. Your assignment is to produce a human skull. Human skulls are very useful meshes to have around for character uh, detail, just to have and to hold. It's like one of those good portfolio pieces. And what I've done is I've laid out the sculpting process and pay attention to the tools I'm using through the process, not the moving of every polygon, but the tools I'm using to move the polygons when you're doing this. You're only going to get better over time as far as the sculpting is concerned. It, it does take a while. Um, that's why I only assigned this as the human skull top half of it because if I assign the top and bottom it would, wouldn't would give you enough time to put in the amount of detail that I want. So the amount of detail I want is in this general area, this readability factor. So I'm this close to this skull, this is what I'm looking for. And that's where I go into the videos and I bring out the level of detail in this area. I show you how I generally get the overall form and you know work in some of the construct of like the teeth but when it comes down to the readability factor I only focused on this one area because it would take forever to document every you know moment and nobody wants to watch all that it's, it's bad enough that it's eight videos long so you can skip around in the videos and it still makes sense that way all right so produce a human skull I want it to be uh, more matched towards a real skull, not an alien skull. I don't want um, too much stylization. I want it to be sort of anatomically good. You know, it doesn't have to be so anatomy perfect. I want good, and that way we can always make variations later on. Now in the next unit, I'm going to be using. I was. I'm going to be going through the topology phase, retopologizing a model and getting it out to a more game-friendly thing. So right now, if I back down the levels to this, you'll find that it started out to be a cube. So its lowest form is not even usable. It's about level four or five becomes useful and that's 6,000 polygons. So we have to kind of look at that if we have several skulls within a scene and they're all 6,000 polygons and the character can kick them around or whatever, what happens there? Well, it becomes, it it's just too much. Um, so the, its lowest base has to be changed some in order to support like dynamics and the idea of having so many in a scene. So you have to kind of kind of think that way. Uh, I know it's nice to have a model that's 6,000 laying around, one in a game or two in a game, and later on, as technology goes, many in a game. But for right now, I would say, let's make an amazing uh, base mesh with a good normal map and show you how to UV it. So that's what Unit 4 is all about. It's taking Unit 2, Unit 3, and taking and making game models from it. All right, so there you go. Produce a human skull. That's what you have to look forward to in the next uh, unit. And have fun with that. This level of detail in the nose area. That's what I'm looking for. Enjoy.